Product descriptions can be optimized with some basic HTML within Amazon. You can see it here on the screen. I will talk about how to make that happen in your back end of Seller Central. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. So for, if you have uh, A plus content in place today, or you own your own brand registry, this really won't apply to you. If you don't have brand registry or you just have uh, a plus content's not built yet, you do want to optimize your product description. Um, this should still be filled in if you do have A plus content, but generally speaking, not really much of a talking point these days because A plus content will take place of your product description in this section right here. But you'll notice that there is bold, there is spacing, you can even do bullet points inside of your product description. Another thing I'd like to show is that you can also, when you build out your bullet points, you can put in some minor emoji symbols uh, if, if you feel inclined. It's not, to, not necessary, um, but some products will shine a little bit better for that. So for example, if you're selling a silly product, uh, sometimes having emojis can be beneficial. So for example, on this product where it's a funny wine glass, I've got emojis, uh, I've got a little doctor hospital symbol, a present symbol, because I have gifty type items, stars for top quality, dishwasher symbol with you know some water and a money back guarantee. These are the kinds of things that don't look good or professional on uh, you know professional type products, but look great on gifty type um, or on some select items that it makes sense for. So um, you can literally just type into Google uh, emojis that work on Seller Central and you can see a list of them that come up. I'll put a link in my description uh, to one of the websites I generally pull them from. Uh, but back to uh, the HTML question in the product description. So on the back end, if you just hit edit on any product, you can go in and add some basic HTML. So B, which stands for bold, uh, as, is one of the most common ones you're going to want to use. This is where you want to call out certain features that you want to make more important. You can see what it looks like with the bold there in that intro of the sentence. The next thing you can use is BR inside of some alligator parentheses, which is basically um, a, a line break. You can also use P for paragraph. So if you wanted, you could edit this with P like this. And then over here, you could change that to a closed bracket P. This would do the exact same thing as doing two line breaks. So sometimes it's easier for people just to do line breaks with BR, which stands for break. So do two breaks if you want to have a space between this paragraph and this paragraph right there. Um, other codes you can use are OL or UL, and that's where you'd want to have a bullet point list. So for example, if I did OL, uh, and then I would type in something along the lines of features, and then on the next line I would type in LI, which is the line item for that feature, and I type in feature one, end that feature, and then do feature two, end that feature with the, the bracket for um, li with the forward slash preceding it and then finally when you're done with your bullet points um, slash ol uh, you could also do ul or ol both of those are for bullets versus numbered symbol bullets um, both should work within amazon so again if you have a plus content you don't need to do this uh, you can just fill in the product description and copy it in um, one of the things that we've wondered is if, if Amazon will index the product description differently than they, than, than they index the A-plus content. So sometimes we have A-plus content up, we'll put in Spanish or something in the product description on the back end. We don't really know for sure. Um, can't really speak to the uh, indexing on that question, but uh, I would at the very least have the product description present if you do have the A-plus content, and it could be different content, but will not be public-facing on Seller Central. I will delineate a little bit. Uh, Vendor Central does have the product description show in addition to A-plus content, so if you have a Vendor Central account, um, you, you definitely have to have both optimized. So I will put in some links in the description of the video where I show a list of HTML commands that can be used within Seller Central. Um, check them out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video or request another video on any subject of your choosing within Seller Central. We'll be sure to shoot it. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And if you need any Amazon consulting, go over to myamazonguy.com and contact us today. Thank you.